hey guys i hope we are all doing well so today i have for you tuna mayo bread i have here bread flour sugar some milk powder egg yeast water and salt if you do not have milk powder and you have the whole milk you can use that instead of the water and powder okay so let's add our ingredients into our mixer you can use you can knead by hand as well it might be just a little too sticky for you but it's still kneadable with your hand you just have to gather your muscles So now we want to knead your dough for 10 minutes, okay? Okay, so you should have something like this after 10 minutes. how it should look like you see how glossy it looks and soft okay and also you don't need more flour you need oil okay okie dokie so you should have something like this you can see the texture yeah very 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 soft and glossy okay so now oil the bowl you can use the same bowl or a new one just oil there and then use a clean film leave this to double in size my weather is nice quite warm so an hour should do okay okay so our dough has doubled in size beautifully. Okay. And now you want to divide them into between 8 and 12 pieces. Okay, depends on what size you want to make them. Okay with the help of a scale. If you don't have a scale, just try as much as possible to make them the same size, okay? Okay, so now that you have your equal pieces, you want to go ahead and deflate it like so okay and then roll it i know you can't see properly but you do that and then you place it there so deflate okay and then you roll like that and then you place it over there okay so now you want to place them in your baking dish with an parchment paper okay i was supposed to do it that way but i didn't have space for this big one that was why i placed it there so when you deflate it you can just go ahead and then place it in your baking dish okay And then you cover 
and allow it to rest for half an hour. Okay, so now that time's up, I have here my filling, which is tuna, um, sweet corn, mayonnaise, and spring onion. I'm going to write them down in the description box below, okay? And what you want to do is okay so i've oiled the bottom of my cup yeah and then i'm going to press this down in the middle i hope they don't stick together yeah no i can't use that so i'm going to use a glass i shouldn't have so i'm going to use a glass instead so like that Okay, so it should look something like this and then you want to just scoop about I mean a good amount inside there. Don't overpack it, okay? So this is like um, a sandwich. A full tuna sandwich. Okay, so and now you want to go ahead and egg wash, okay? If you don't want the egg wash, you just bake it like that. But I want it to look golden. Okay, so now go ahead and bake this in the preheated oven. I'll write the temperature and the minute down in the description box. And here we are. We have our tuna bread, so immediately you want to um, brush some butter over. So this is not supposed to happen, even though I know it will happen. I didn't want them to stick together, but this happened. So you can actually bake. If you make eight, you can bake four at a time, so they will like not stick together like this it's not a problem but. so here we have our tuna mayo and um, bread i hope you do enjoy it when you try i will see you on my next bye